Hello and welcome to another edition of uh, Tips for Thomas, a do-it-yourselfer channel. Uh, today uh, we will be changing and replacing a uh, a, a pull push type of uh, water valve on a shower tub. Um, this. Uh, valve that we're going to change first we're going to change the whole valve because it was leaking uh, as you can see uh, there is a little bit of water dripping uh, however um, and, and and the valve is off all it took me it's just a turn and it started leaking that's an indication that the gaskets on the valve is already damaged so i'm gonna the main water valve is already uh, turned off I'm going to pull the handle just to get the rest of the water out. Right. So, now that the water is out, this is going to be a uh, two-part video because this one, like I said, I'm going to replace it and the other one, it's kind of hard to push it and pull it. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to grease the other one to see if it works. So first you got to take the, the main uh, cover of the valve. Then uh, you remove whatever it's, it's on the center. Which in this case is a uh, bolt. take the whole assembly out this one it was out of place it has to be sticking in there all right so now you got the push valve and I don't know if the camera can see it but this little clip it needs to come out um, you may use uh, channel log pliers to pull it out that clips holds the water valve on place so I'm gonna try to hold it with my pliers I'm gonna try to pull this thing out it's a little bit hidden right there Uh, also try not to lose this clip because I haven't been able to find it uh, they don't sell it uh, by themselves all right so I'm having a little bit of trouble right there all right so by using a smaller screwdriver there is a little hole right there. I don't know if the camera can see it. You try to hold it with the uh, screwdriver if it's too tight and just pull this pin out. Okay. Do not lose. This pin, do not lose it, it's important. Cause I haven't been able to find it out there on just the local stores. So now, now that we have that, it's time for us to replace the valve. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, as I was saying, I have this cartridge, right? There's a part number. Um, I find sometimes two in the stores. Uh, one is made out of brass and the other one of plastic. And with the experience that I have is that the plastic ones, they don't last too long. Now, uh, I want you to see the uh, tip of this valve. It has a little plastic. It has this little plastic cover. Do not throw it away because this is gonna help you to remove the valve. It's actually a tool uh, to remove the valve. This is a tool, believe it or not. So let's first remove the old valve and put this aside. 
what you do with the uh, plastic, like the tool that I'm telling you, you're gonna stick it in here like this, all right? And it has a square, uh, square tip so that way you can start moving. So what you do is you move the valve and you loosen it. If for some reason it's stuck and start it, if it's too tight, just start doing it little by little because you can break the plastic, then you will lose it too. See how it moves, the whole valve is moving. All right, so I'm loosening the valve. Why? So that will be easier to remove it, a lot easier. Just loosen it a lot, it will help you believe me. Once you lose it, grab your pliers, channel locks, whatever, and move it. And uh, here's the uh, old uh, valve, all right? This valve was leaking. I am not gonna throw it away just yet. Uh, I'm gonna inspect to see if uh, maybe I can change the uh, gaskets and it'll work. This gasket this seems like it is a little bit too worn. There's more water coming out, sometimes it's normal. All right, so let's get to the uh, next step. All right, for the next step, you're gonna grab the uh, new valve, and you're gonna buy this. Uh, it's a waterproof grease. It's made for this. So what you do is you're gonna put grease on the gasket, a little bit. In all the gaskets. This will make a uh, much better seal and uh, it will help uh, the gaskets gaskets for a longer uh, longer life so they don't get brittle uh, too easy. All right, so you put grease and uh, we're ready to install the valve. So we're gonna get here. As you can see, it has two little legs. Well, these legs, they gotta be upright. So that way the clip that we took out, it can go in. So we're gonna push it in just like this. With the tool that we have, we're gonna keep pushing it more. We're gonna keep pushing it more like this, all right? Until it's set in there. You might leave the tool. Then you're gonna grab the pin and put it in here. And uh, you can turn this sides just like that take this out and put the pin inside now it's locked all right the valve cannot come out anymore the valve it's pretty much there so now we're gonna reinsert this clip the way it's supposed to and then use the pliers there all right so once we have the valve in place, uh, we're gonna proceed and pull the handle. Now let me tell you a little tip. Once you connect the water, if you turn the handle on the left hand side and the water comes out cold, you don't have to take the valve. All you have to do is turn this to the other side and bingo that's it that's what it determines which side the hot water is going to come out do not take the valve just turn the little shaft and that will determine the uh, 
the side in which you need the hot water to come out. So we're gonna proceed to install the uh, handle. All right, let me get the bulb. All right, so we got the uh, handle, and I'm gonna put the uh, bolt in place. Make sure it's tight. And then we put the rest of the cover and bingo. We just replace a valve. It is nice, soft, and you can turn to both sides for cold and hot water. I am not gonna put uh, this until I turn the water just to make sure I, I get the, uh, the uh, uh, water on the uh, right direction. So we got the water on. We're gonna make sure the valve is nice and smooth. We're gonna turn it to the left. We're going to see if the hot water comes out. Alright. So there is nothing but cold water coming out. Okay. I'm going to turn it the other way. And very hot water. Which means that the valve, uh, we have to turn it. Uh, we have to turn it uh, 45, uh, what is it, 90 degrees. And uh, we'll get the hot water. Let's, let's get to that. Like I mentioned before, this is real simple. All you have to do is remove the, the handle. Turn the valve. 90, 90 degrees. Leave it on. Put the handle on. Screw the bolt. the bolt and we're ready to test the water one more time pull it left oh yeah super hot water we got it we got a brand new valve we last quite a few years and this is it so uh, see you in another edition of uh, tips for dummies have a good day guys